Hey, it's Jam. And really quick, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my friends over on Patreon. Specifically, Yoretta, Fudge Unicorn, Phoebe, Janet Ashcroft, Alexa, Nooms, and more. Thank you all for being patrons. I really, really appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron and get your lovely name on this lovely list on screen right now, and a possibility of a special shout out, consider checking out my Patreon down below. If not, that's completely fine. I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Hmm. I know I saw him run in this direction. Where'd that little guy get off to? It's okay. I'm just a forest ranger. You're safe with me, I promise. I think I hear you. Right here. Oh, you aren't my little Aranara friend. Whoa, are you okay? You look hurt. Ouch, that looks like it hurts a lot. Lucky for you, I'm an expert in this field and know exactly what to do. My name? Oh, right. I mean, how are you going to trust me to take care of you if you don't even know my name? I am Tainari, and I'm a forest ranger. But you already knew that. Here, let me see your wound. Hmm, let's see. Yup. That's definitely going to need some attention. It's okay. I can stop the pain. How? I'm glad you asked. First, I'm going to take this Sumeru Rose and crush it up. Next, I'll mix it with this water I brought all the way from Fontaine until it becomes a paste. Hmm... Let's see... Aha! We'll take this large leaf and rub the paste onto the surface. And finally, we just apply it to the wounded area and it's done. How's that feel? Good. It was never a doubt that it wouldn't work, but it's my job to make sure anyway. Of course the pain went completely away. That's what happens when you mix a Sumero Rose with the water from Fontaine. To be honest, I'm not sure what makes the water from Fontaine so special, but for some reason, it just activates the pain-killing properties of the Sumero Rose. Quite fascinating, don't you think? Well, I thought so. That's no way to talk to a forest ranger, you know. Especially one that just saved your life. I know it was just your leg. But still, how did you expect to walk out of this forest on a bad leg? How did you end up here anyway? Not too often I find people this deep into the forest. You were doing what? Looking for a flower? You know there are flowers outside of the forest, right? Plenty, in fact. Oh, it's a specific flower. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help you find it. It's a purple rose. I see. By chance, is it a twilight rose? I thought so. There aren't too many purple roses this far into the forest. Are you a chef or an alchemist? Uh, well, you know, the flower is usually used as a spice in stews. It could also be used as an ingredient in a few potions. So, I'm just curious as to what you're going to use it for. If you must know... 
As a forest ranger, it's important to me that these flowers don't become extinct from people taking them all without replanting the seeds. You'd be surprised at the amount of people that are out to have the entire supply of ingredients to themselves. Good way to make a lot of money. Just not very kind to the forest or the people that only take what's needed. Right. Without rules and regulations, people are quick to take what they want, when they want, without remorse of what it does to others. You know why I can't let that happen. Back to my other question. What are you going to use it for? Oh, you're building a bouquet for a loved one, and the Twilight Rose would make it seem that much more special. I see. Well... Your reasoning sounds noble enough, as long as it's one bouquet you're making. Lucky for you, I always have one on me. Of course I do. Like I said before, it can make a few potions which can be helpful in my line of work. Well, seeing as you're hurt, I don't think you're in much of a position to move around and continue your search. Here, just take care of it, okay? Oh, nonsense. Just take it. I promise that it's okay. Good. Now that we've taken care of that, let's take another look at your wound. See how my bandage is holding up. Uh huh. Hmm. Huh? No, it's nothing. Quite literally. What I mean is that your wound seems like it's completely healed. I've heard of some people reacting better to the flower's healing properties, but wow, you're incredible. Of course you're going to feel tired. All the flower does is speed up the healing process. Your body still has to do a lot of the work by itself. Suffice to say that you're going to need to rest here for the night. Considering that I'm not strong enough to carry you out of here, and you're too tired to walk, it's your best option. Technically, your only option. I'm glad you asked. I will build you a tent and keep you company until morning. What? Of course I would. It's what I do. I couldn't sleep at night if I knew I just left you out here. Now, if you don't have any more questions, can I get to work? Good. It should be pretty easy to set up here considering I was actually going to camp in this forest anyway. Why, you ask? Well... I was looking for a member of the elusive species known as the Aranara. I thought I saw one pass by here, and it very well could still be around. That's why I was going to camp out here. Think of it like a stakeout. Well, of course the Aranara exists. How else do you think I found you out here? <sighs> you see... The Aranara are known for helping out injured people that are lost in the forest, usually by leading them out, but in some cases, leading others in to help them. Yeah, exactly. So you better thank the one that saved you if you ever get the chance to meet him. Better yet, just send him my way. Right, I almost forgot what I was doing. Hmm, let's see... Ah. Hi, I'm back. Sorry for running off like that. Isn't it obvious? I went to collect firewood. We can't camp in the dark, can we? It was a breeze, 
and might I add, super successful. Check it out. What did I say? Pretty great, right? This should last us about three days. Though, we'll probably only need one. What do you mean, overboard? There's no such thing as too much firewood. If anything were to happen that made us extend our stay, we'd be ready. Just to be clear, I'm not planning for us to be out here longer. Though I fully plan on myself being out here until I find what I'm looking for. Remember, I came out here to find the ever-evasive Aranara. I'll help you get out here safely. But after that, I'm coming right back. Oh, the sun looks like it's setting. I take it you haven't eaten dinner yet? I thought so. It's cool. I brought more than enough for the both of us. Have I mentioned that I always come prepared? We just have to set up the fire to cook it. Think you can wait? Good. I'll get right to work then. <sighs> All done. Here's your food. I hope you enjoy. Of course I'll eat too. I just cooked your food first. Well, I told you that I would take care of you, right? Making sure you eat your fill only falls into what I meant by taking care of you. Plus, the sooner you eat, the sooner the resting process can begin. Yeah, that's it. The only reason I made your food first. Yes, I'm very sure that there's no other reason that I'd feed you first. What? You want me to admit that I actually think you're cute and this is my way of showing affection or something? Don't be silly. That was not too specific of a reason. Okay, I suppose you're a little cute, but don't let that get into your head. Shush and eat before I take your food away and eat it myself. Oh, you vastly underestimate how much I can eat. I bet that I could eat both my and your portion in one sitting. Though, I doubt you want to test that. Fortunately for you, my food's all done, so you don't have to guard your food so closely anymore. Let's dig in. Whew. That was really good. It looked like you enjoyed it as well. I'm really glad. Was that a yawn? Figures. The sun's been down for a while now, and I imagine you've had a long day. I'm not super tired just yet, but that's alright. I should take watch for a while anyway. See if my little r, &R friend decides to stop by to check on you. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe no matter what. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. It's my tail. You could use it as a pillow if you'd like. I just want to make sure that you're able to sleep with maximum comfort tonight. So go ahead and lay down on it. There you go. You look really comfortable. Good night. I hope you sleep really well. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> 